Hey you guys, I haven't done this in a while and I'm, yes I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom. So if you hear that noise, that's the thingy, whatever. But yeah, I've just had a lot on my mind lately. Well not lately, started yesterday. Um, I was like, was it, yes it was yesterday and the day before that. I um got the song stuck in my head from Empire. Um the one what is it? What is love? What is I think it's what is love. Um yeah. So I was like thinking or whatever and then like I came across these old videos in my phone of my ex boyfriend and I just started thinking about stuff and I'm like dude people these days are just ridiculous as far as like wanting so bad to be loved yes i do want to be loved yes i do want to find somebody but my thing is i know when it like i can tell within me if it's the right time for me to have someone or if i'm just i feel like i want someone because i'm lonely even though i'm not ready for a relationship i hate to glare but um yeah I, with myself I can tell that so with my um the guy who was in those videos if you guys follow me on snapchat then you would have saw it but um yeah the guy that was in those videos um I broke up with him several times and each time he would not let me break up with him I broke up with him those times because I knew that we weren't in the right place to be together and we were hindering each other like yeah we loved each other yeah we had feelings for each other but we weren't in the right point where we could handle a relationship with one another with that with one another and this was because like at that time I didn't have transportation um and we live far from each other 30 minutes 45 minutes away from each other so I was um finding rides to him every time that we saw each other it was it was it wasn't until like close to the end of the relationship where he actually started coming this way and coming to see me and taking me places or whatever he took me um for a birthday dinner on my 20th birthday last year or whatever so yeah and it just made me think um all those times i was trying to do the, uh, the right thing because i knew that i felt single I felt single because we couldn't be around each other we didn't talk to each other that much anymore and everything so I continuously tried to break up with him and I ended up feeling bad because I was like trying to go out there and and mingle and stuff but in his head we were still together even though I kept trying to break up with him and I kept trying to tell him that like because you making me feel bad even though I was trying to do the right thing by ending it with you so um it's just and then like to look at other people and see them kind of i don't want to say forced relationships but they jump into relationships because they get lonely like i understand i have my lonely nights and i have those nights where i'm like dang i wish i had someone to cuddle with and stuff like that but some people they don't know how to just look at that and see that it's momentary like oh i want somebody to cuddle with but i'm not ready for a relationship um people just they think that I have too many lonely times so I need someone to fill that empty void. I need someone to be that person so I don't have to be stuck in these moods or whatever. No, you don't. Because you're going to get over that. That's that's momentary. That's temporary or whatever. Like, I feel like you're going to feel within yourself when it's the right time to be with somebody. And if you rush into it, it's not going to work. I was in another situation. Um, what was it? last year year before that it was sometime i can't remember like my timelines be messed up sometimes y'all so don't mind me i be trying to place it with the year and stuff for y'all but like i really i be like having brain farts but yeah i was dealing with the guy and we were like everything was moving so fast we had known each other for like a good year or so or whatever but we never like actually sat there and tried to be in a relationship so it got to the point where we were actually trying to get to know each other and be around each other and it got to the point where i was with him 24 7 and things started moving really fast and i feel like it scared him and so we ended up not working out and we don't even talk at all now and 
it's like he'll randomly hit me up you can tell he still thinks about me he, like every time we do end up talking he tells me that his brother and his um mom and stuff acts about me and wonder how i'm doing and stuff like that like it got that to that point where like the family liked me and everything but it wasn't time i felt like with me i think i had just got out of a relationship and i was like hurt and he was doing everything that i had wished that my ex had done he was treating me so well and he was so nice to me and so sweet to me cooking for me telling me how beautiful i am and how special i am and just like giving me these random pep talks and like all this stuff like that and it was just something that something different and he gave me what my ex didn't give me as far as like me feeling like okay someone cares and someone sees something in me and wants me to know that they see it in me instead of keeping it to yourself and i have to guess or assume that you feel it's like a way about me and i like things did go fast he asked me to be his girlfriend and i said yes even though i knew i shouldn't have i said yes because we were like laying in bed with each other and he asked me this and I'm just like I don't want to say no because it's going to be awkward which I should have said no but I didn't because I feel like that could have just stretched things out more and we could have got more of a feel for one another because when you put that title that title is what messes things up because with that title comes expectations before it was like okay we just cool and we know that we like each other but we don't have no title we just cool or whatever we know that we are more than just friends but we we just know our boundaries and stuff but when you put that title boyfriend girlfriend you go into that with expectations even though you don't say it you actually like subconsciously you have these these unwritten rules and, and regulations and stuff that you place upon your significant other and that just sticks with you so the smallest thing they do if they do something wrong you take it more to heart whereas before if you when you didn't have that title yes you care but you really couldn't like you really didn't get so irritated by it because that wasn't your boyfriend that wasn't your girlfriend so you can easily like let it slide and talk about it and get through it but it's just different when you put a label on it and i just um realized that a lot of young people even older people or whatever they're so pressed to find love and be in love and have someone to love them that they were rushing to rush into situations and rush into relationships even though they probably feel within their stuff that they're not ready they're just tired of being lonely so they want someone to fill that void and not everybody is going to go around and date and sleep with other people and stuff like that to fill that void some people just want that one person even though that one person might not be the person that they're supposed to be filling that void with so i just wanted to say that i really haven't been posting i did record something today um but this probably will be up before that will be up because i feel like this will upload quicker but um yeah yeah i just thought that was interesting and that was something that i noticed and that's something that i used to do rushing into relationships because you were lonely before and, and you were trying to um get under someone else to get over the other person that saying that it's, it's so true because a lot of people do that a lot of people have not been single for so for for long because every time when they break up with someone they try to find someone else to replace that person so they can get over the next person instead of allowing their stuff to actually heal they sit there and they jump into something else and try to use that person to heal them or whatever it's just it's ridiculous and everyone does it at one point in their life you can't say that you haven't because i know you have but yeah i just wanted to record this and say that because it was on my mind so yeah but i love you guys and i will see you next time